I'm Josh from the Pop Culturists, and how about that Switch presentation, huh? Really good stuff, right? Oh, oh, somebody please pick up the children! Yeah, the presentation wasn't that good, we know that, but since then we've had the Treehouse and a whole heap more information come to us from Nintendo and for people affiliated with Nintendo, so as far as I'm concerned, there is heaps to look forward to. So, coming up, the top six games I'm excited to play on the Nintendo Switch, hopefully, this year. So let's get the easy one out of the way, shall we? Breath of the Wild. Is there really anything else to say about this game? It's awesome, it's hype incarnated into a physical form, and it's really a console seller for me. Uh, Nintendo ended its presentation with a brand spanking new trailer, finally giving us a glimpse into the story, and showing off voice acting for the first time in the Zelda franchise. There's not much more to say. This game is going to consume me and destroy what little social life I have left, and I don't care because it's the Legend of Zelda! The next game on my list is Has Been Heroes, coming to us from Game Trust, the developers of Trine, which is a brilliant game in itself, go check it out if you haven't already, is bringing its upcoming roguelike action strategy game to the Switch. The game is 2.5D and procedurally generated and is said to utilise the Switch's HD rumble feature. I still don't exactly know what that is. Sources point to it launching in March for about 20 bucks, which is Perfect, because every game we've seen so far on the Australian websites is sitting at about 80. So please fill that cheaper gap for me. The next game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Here's the thing about Mario Kart. While it is just a port over from the Wii U version with some extra features, it may as well be a completely new game to me. I never owned a Wii U, so all the titles that are going to inevitably be ported over from the Wii U are still new to me. All the tracks from the Wii U version, including DLC tracks, are bundled in. Five new characters are joining the roster, including Splatoon's Inkling Girl and Inkling Boy, King Boo, Dry Bones, and Bowser Jr. Balloon Battle and bob on Blast join a reworked battle mode as well, which adds additional courses, both new and old, and it's set to release on April 28th. I am Setsuna. I know, I know, it's not a new title. Okay, I got it, but it is one that I haven't managed to play just yet, and personally, the Switch seems to be the perfect place to play it. The developer, Tokyo RPG Factory, was said to have been created to recapture the magic of JRPGs of old. And while that's a tall order, from everything I've read online, I Am Setsuna absolutely delivers on that promise. It is a launch title over in Japan, lucky them, but no Western date announced for us just yet. I've always been interested in the Splatoon franchise, I just never wanted to buy a Wii U to play it. Lucky for me, Splatoon 2 is coming to the Switch and is easily one of my most anticipated games to play this year. A nice, bright, fun, competitive shooter that's not just about war, blood and guts seems so refreshing to play. It's coming to America in the summer, which makes it somewhere between June and August for us here in the good old land of Oz. Project Octopath Traveler. Strange name aside, yeah? This game just looks charming. It's one of the most intriguing looking games I've seen in years. And it's coming to us from Square Enix, so that's double points. The retro style RPG is literally dripping in nostalgia with 2D sprites as well as 3D backgrounds that give the open world adventure a more modernized touch. This looks to be exactly the kind of game that I love to play. But unfortunately, Square Enix hasn't given us a release time frame just yet. On top of those games, we're also getting ports of a few of the Dragon Quest titles. We're getting Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is pointing to the Switch being a JRPG machine, and that is fine with me, because that is my favorite type of game to play. But what are yours? What are you most excited to play on the Switch in 2017? Let me know in the comments below. But before you go, Ryan, a fellow associate of mine, was invited to play the Nintendo Switch at the Melbourne presentation on the weekend. There's a video of that on our channel. I'll link it in the description below. Until next time, thanks for watching and see ya!